They call it the cobbler and no, it's not a dessert. It's a hundred mile bicycle ride ending at lengthwise brewery. 23 BC Stephen Hicks has more on what they call a stupidly hard ride. Stephen. Yeah, Gracia, intense and harsh would be a great way to describe this bike ride. It's over a hundred miles long, consisting of asphalt roads, dirt trails and steep elevation changes. It's probably one of the most intense bike rides in California. Cyclists ride through varying landscapes and steep terrain, but it's not a race. It's a challenge for yourself to see if you can actually finish the race itself or the ride itself. It's a 100 mile trek that started and ended at Lengthwise Brewery in Southwest Bakersfield. In between, riders trekked through Hart Park, up part of Breckenridge Mountain, through Rio Bravo, and up to the top of the bluffs, just to name a few spots. Yeah, I'm just glad it's over. I, I took a little spill on one of the downhills in the dirt, and uh, I was thinking about getting it up, but everything still works, so I thought I'd just finish it. 50 riders took part in the first rock cobbler last year, and word must get out in the cycling community because this year there were 180 participants. This is the absolute epitome race to do for cyclocross and uh, adventure cycling. There were sections where we're going through fields and it reminded me of Europe. It was it was like Belgium, you know, farmland all over the place. Riders came from all across the southwest to experience biking on different surfaces. Yeah, that was definitely the best part. Um, dirt's a lot of fun to ride in, and it's nice to have a mixed surface race like that. Kind of keeps it interesting, keeps it challenging. A hundred mile bike ride is a long time to be exposed to the elements. And on a day of record breaking heat, the hardest part is finishing. You think you're finished. You're thinking, ah, oh, 20 miles on the bike path, downhill. And uh, that wasn't so. We went through a lot of uh, sand and obstacles. Those who did finish were treated to beer, food, and live music. They were also given a commemorative two and a half pound sledgehammer with the engraving Rock Cobbler and Your Rock Star. One of those riders said he's planning on hanging on to that sledgehammer and intends to do some work with it in his backyard. Gracia?